Don't really know much. Don't really know much. Don't really know much. And yet you're still going to tell people how to live their lives. Imagine that. And when kids are in danger, that's defined as abuse. Hi. Hello, this is Michael Beverly. Welcome to my channel. This will be my official last video with this old studio equipment. I am going to be traveling next week, so I won't be posting any new videos till after I get back. In a couple of weeks, I will have a new studio. <laughs> you know, I really did not want to jump into any political videos. It's not really my thing. I don't really know much. I'm not going to lie. But one thing I do know is when something is evil. I, I don't want anybody to harass this girl. And she obviously needs Jesus. And Jesus has obviously made her life better. And that's all great. Her name's Taylor. She's a former million follower. According to her bio on her website, she had a million followers and but her life went downhill if you don't know when something's evil it's because you're blind she kind of hints at like alcohol drugs and sex but she doesn't actually say that so like i don't know that's what she means but usually when uh you know an attractive guy or attractive girl in their 20s finds jesus and starts repenting of all the terrible things they did it's generally not you know bank rob <laughs> and terror it's usually they feel guilty about sex and experimenting with drugs and so forth. Girls up in the club. Um, which is all fine. Like if she needs this, but the reason I'm commenting is because, and the reason I'm making this video is because, uh, it's like she's not just privately going through her faith. She's out on the internet, so I think it's fair game. Um, I think it's fair game to criticize because she's. She's doing things that lead other people down this, this trap of Jesus loves you. And if you just give your heart and give your time and money and energy to Jesus, Jesus, take the wheel, that your life's going to be okay. And I know this is a lie. I've seen it work out as a lie in so many people's lives that I hope to do my small part to counteract this. I know I'm not as cute as her. And let me tell you why. Do you guys know that Beyonce song? Who runs the world? Yeah, Satan runs the world. The nation in this power. I know she comes across as just this wonderful, sweet, you know, vibrant, alive. So my prediction is one of two things. One, she'll get bored of this after you know, a couple few months or a year, the, her, her Jesus, her, the brilliance of Jesus will wear off and, and her account will die and she'll either delete it or just ignore this account. <laughs> Nobody's safe unless you have Jesus. If you don't have Jesus, come to this channel more often. But since Satan runs this world, it is not surprising that the devil has his hand on so many elites. Or, or she'll really get into it and she'll get just as addictive to the serotonin hits of that she used to get just for her looks. Now she's getting it. You know, she was on Instagram. Obviously, there's no, let's not argue about why she was had a million followers, right? So we all, we all understand that. But now she's become the quote, the Bible chick. Now, does she have, you know, does she have a seminary or a theology degree or a historical degree? Can she read? Can she read Hebrew or Greek? I highly doubt it. So what is her, what is her expertise on the Bible? personal experience. Yeah, you know, every generation that's hit my age has said, God, the youth is just terrible. What the, what's the world going to come to? Yeah, you know what? The kids grow up. I, I get it. They got to go through these phases. So yeah, I, you know, it is what it is. So many musicians, so many people with large platforms and the White House that governs 330 million people. Not that surprising. Before I go on, I just want to say this video in no way is to help you decide who to vote for this year. I'm just doing what the Bible says, exposing wickedness that is in front of all of our little faces. But the idea that anyone would listen to anyone in their 20s, and it's not because she's a pretty girl, it's anyone, guy, girl, anyone. That anyone would listen to anyone in their 20s is just ludicrous. When you're when you're in your 20s, you're a fucking idiot. That's just reality. You don't know anything. You barely figure it out through your 30s. When you hit 40, you kind of realize, yeah, I'm a stupid idiot, but at least I'm 
I'm understanding life a little bit. When you hit 50, you kind of have it figured out. I'm not saying exactly, but whatever. I, I'll be, I'll, next year I'm going to turn 60. And I think between 60 and 70, I might actually grasp just a little bit of wisdom. Shit, my grandma used to say, what's better, fucking a good plate with nothing on it? No, wait, I fucked up. What's a good plate with nothing on it? Meaning? Oh, no, she was seeing all that shit. She used to fucking piss herself all the time. So I came across this girl on my Instagram reels and she posted this video and I read the top of the video and I'm like, mm, no, that can't be right. It is. <laughs> it's real. <laughs> Biden is pushing to ban Christians from adopting or fostering. This story is heartbreaking. Let's take a look at what's going on. Certainly this rule and accompanying legislation. Look, if you're getting your news from CBN, you've already lost the battle. Anyways, this video isn't about the issue. I'm sure it's complete fucking bullshit, but. Let, I, I, what this video is about is her attitude. So I'm going to cut out the stuff about the politics because I don't, don't give a shit. It's part of the reason I left America. I don't have to deal with that shit no more. Down here in Mexico, life is way, way, way simpler and straightforward. I think it's safe to say that we're living in a time where Christians are being painted as evil. I think the media does such a good job at pushing that. that blah, 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 blah. The media, this. Come on. I've been hearing this kind of crap my whole life. The reality is, I don't think Christians per se are evil. I think Christian theology is evil. And when Christians act on their interpretation of Christian theology, it's evil. What do you think led to slavery in the American colonies and the antebellum South? Christianity. Go back. No, I just... This young creator hasn't probably studied history and doesn't realize this. She lives in Florida. I'm not doxing her. It's on her website. She's she says, I live in Florida and there's so many churches to pick from. Yeah. You, do you know what Florida was like in my, when I, back when I was born, of course, I didn't realize this because I was just born. I was born in 1965. Now, what was Florida like back then? It was a racist fucking hellhole. Back Back in my mom's generation in Florida, where you live, Taylor, blacks were not allowed into Christian white churches. Did you know that? Did you know that blacks were banned from going into public schools? It took like the National Guard and the federal government to convince the southern states to allow integration. We are oppressed. We are exploited. We are downtrodden. We are denied not only civil rights, but even human rights. So the only way we're going to get some of this oppression and exploitation away from us or aside from us is come together against the common enemy. The common enemy here was mostly and almost entirely white Christians. Who passed these laws? White Christians. Who didn't let blacks into their churches? White Christians. Who were the police officers and other people who were oppressing, beating, and keeping people from having freedom was Christians. They use force to make you do what the deciders have decided you must do. They use force to make you do what the deciders have decided you must do. So those that work forces, you want to sing that work right now? Yeah. You know what? I, I'm sure Florida's much better today, but I wouldn't live in the South. I'm sorry, maybe in Austin, but come on. Because the, the remnants of racism, I was married to a Texan once. And this is the kind of thing that when I went to visit my family in East Texas, Meemaw told us, well, I've been voted Democrat my whole life, but I just can't bring myself to vote for her. And you can imagine how she finished that sentence. That's a white Christian in modern times, in, in my lifetime. Can you imagine what it was like just in the 50s, 40s, 30s? Taylor, you're living in a bubble. You're a beautiful white woman who's 
obviously from at least a privileged class family, you know nothing about life and your idea that Christianity isn't the cause of massive, massive destruction is just bizarre because it just goes against everything in the very history of where you live. I challenge you. I challenge you to do a simple thing, Taylor. Go out and use whatever method you can, the library or Google, and start finding out how many wars, how much bloodshed was on Florida soil. It, it will shock you from the, the Spaniards, the British, the American. How many, how many indigenous Native American populations and tribes were extincted by Christians? Go, to, go find that out. How many? How much blood was shed in Florida? And now we haven't even got to we haven't even got to the Civil War yet. The number of people that were butchered, murdered, enslaved by white Christians should make you sick. Go study some history. This is why. When the, quote, media or people like me point out Christian evil, we're not just pulling this shit out of our ass. It's history. Go read. Go educate yourself. Go get a real education before you start spouting off that you're the Bible chick, since you obviously are so naive. You think that the Bible was written in Hebrew. I mean, come on. It's embarrassing. Who taught you to hate your own kind? Who taught you to hate the race that you belong to? So much so that you don't want to be around each other. In movie after movie and show after show, we are evil for wanting to adopt a child that doesn't have a home and invite them into a loving home that is built on the word of God, where they know where they came from, that God knew them before they were born, that God loves them, where they are taught not to steal, kill, lie, and cheat. We are evil for not accepting the wicked schemes the enemy is infiltrating into the world and now into the law. We're doing great, America. <laughs> but the Christians are looked at as evil. People in the world hate us. That's Christianity for you. So when when the media or anybody paint, paints Christians as evil, well, look at your history. Look at your history. Now, I'm not saying everything Christians have done as Christians has been evil, but it's often, often very mind-blowing when you actually look into actual real history, the effects of Christian policies and Christian theology on the world. And it's awfully, it's often dark, ugly, disgusting, and embarrassing. I highly suggest you go read some history books. Just like Jesus said would happen, and over 300 other things he said would happen. But woe to those who call evil good, and good evil. Woe to those. Woe to those, she says, who call evil good, and good evil. Well, historically, who was behind the Crusades? Slavery, colonialism, forced conversions, witch hunts, insane anti insane amounts of anti-Semitism, which which started in the book of John, which is very anti-Semitic, but it went through history, through the the churches in the Middle Ages, what they did to the Jews. Just go read some history, Taylor. You're you're woefully ignorant. Do what they told you. Do what they told you. Do what they told you. I walk forces on a sick and burnt crosses. So I go say walk forces on a sick and burnt crosses. Now, if you went back in time and you were a Christian, you know, hundreds and hundreds of years ago, you would either be, you would either be, um, attacking Jews or Catholics, or if you were. Catholic, you'd be attacking Jews and Protestants. And if you are one kind of Protestant, like say an Anglican, you would be saying shit about the Quakers. And if you were a Quaker, you'd be saying shit about the Anglicans. I can't believe that this is even happening. This is crazy. I think things are going to get crazier. This is certainly not a time for Christians to shrink back in fear and to worry so much about how people around you are going to look at you, your friends and your family that may not talk to you anymore or maybe not be as close to you anymore. But at the end of the day, people are going to hell. Yeah, I feel the love, Taylor. I feel the love. You just care about people going to hell. So you want them to follow your agenda. Agenda. 
The problem with it is your agenda doesn't line up with historical Christianity because historically Christianity changes its agenda every few generations. What was once acceptable then follows, you know, just follows the culture and becomes unacceptable. At the end of the day, at the end of the day, I have nothing against this young woman and I'm not asking anyone to comment on her stuff or follow her or harass her. Don't harass her in any way. She's just another lost soul. I, and I have a lot of compassion for her, actually. I, I have pity for you, and I understand. I'm, I'm not trying to be degrading here. But at the end of the day, the message, when I hear the Christian message, it, this is what I have to say. Fuck you, I won't do what you tell me! Fuck you, I won't do what you tell me! Fuck you, I won't do what you tell me. Fuck you, I won't do what you tell me. Fuck you, I won't do what you tell me. Fuck you, I won't do what you tell me. Fuck you, I won't do what you tell me. Fuck you, I won't do what you tell me. Fuck